Code 3 arrow sticks and wheel and controllers. Pairing them together, making the Code 3 arrow stick work the way I want. Uh, Code 3 was not behind the curve on directional arrows. They put them in everything. In the 1990s, they uh, came out with a variety of applications. Their standalone um, used the extruded, uh, what I think they call the AS housing. Uh, it slid in and they wired them with negative switching like most companies. Um, the difference with Code 3 is they wired them in groups. They worked off of a five wire system to begin with. Um, the whole array would be powered um, usually by two feeds, sometimes one like this. And then your light heads would be grouped into groups of two with the exception of the end lights would be single. That way you could deactivate them if you were using an arrow that had an actual arrow shape on it. So why are we running them on wheel and controllers? Well, one, I don't have a good code through arrow controller. Uh, and two, I prefer wheel and um, in order to do that, though, there is some wiring that needs to be done. Uh, Whelan runs off of an eight wire system. Um, code three, like I said, off of that five plus the power. Uh, those are your color codes for your code three. And there's your color codes for your Whelan. Um, both companies did a nice job of describing the pinouts, uh, and describing what they did, and... Uh, Porting it over just means you had to combine um, three of the five wires with pairs of wires coming out of the Whalen uh, so that your end lamps uh, remained on separate wires, whereas the center lamps that were grouped in Code 3 um, would get two wires each from your Whalen controller. And that's important for the same reason that it was important that Code 3 kept their end wires doing one light. That way, in case you had something on the end like an arrow, um, it wasn't grouped in with something else, especially when the pattern started. The grouping, again, in, in this case, the wire colors correspond to these groups of light heads, but Code 3 offered uh, light arrays that varied from 8 down to five total lamps. So doing it like that actually made sense for them because um, then you just wouldn't group them if you had five lamps total. Um, this is how it broke down on the pinout of my eight output wheel and controller. Um, again, it wasn't really hard to group it. The wiring um, could be done like that, uh, which is how I tested it, which isn't pretty, but it definitely works. Um, and it does the job. Or next to the final product, which is actually pinning out a Whalen plug with the Code 3 wires. It just means you were jumpering your wires that needed two outputs. So you end up with uh, the Code 3 colors going into two outputs in three occasions. And then you're combining your two uh, red power inputs into the one power input that the wheel and used, but it really isn't a huge deal once you look at the pinout. It definitely makes the Code 3 arrow bar work the way it was intended. Um, you get your repeat flash on your arrow, uh, either the add-on piece at the bottom or the um, top one has the arrow drawn on the lens. Works great for both. Um, and in my opinion, it powers the arrow sticks uh, with a lot more options than the Code 3 ones did, but that's my opinion. Again, you can see the difference in the wiring there. I think my plug one's neater. Um, the Code 3 arrow sticks, in this case, one of them has the arrow drawn onto the last lens. I don't think that's very effective. I don't think it is with I any company. Um, just leave that alone. Don't bother drawing on it. Uh, if you want to make the arrow bigger at the ends, do this uh, and add an arrow piece. Um, I don't like this particular design. They broke very easily. They were plastic. Um, the idea was great, though. So 
why Whelan controllers for me? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, look at your arrow size and your light head count and the starting end lamp. Um, do you want to illuminate that end lamp? Well, in this case, I actually do because there's nothing drawn on it. So with a Whelan controller, I had the option to do that or not do that. Um, Whelan's also scale better um, to different numbers of light heads because you're not messing with pairs. And they also adapt better to special or uh, larger options. Um, the arrow on the bottom does need a different type of controller, but pretty much remains the same with the way they pin it out. The top one, which is an Edge Plus bar, is just using the same halogen arrow stick controller that was running the other ones, and the pinout's the same. So you get a lot of options in pattern. You get options as to whether to illuminate the end, and they're just more user friendly to me. Every major manufacturer made directional arrow products and the public by and large looked at none of them and the users by and large misused them greatly. Uh, Federal, the warning cycle on their products overrode the arrow. Most modern LED arrow sticks can be controlled with three wires, left, right, Combine the two for center out and one for warning. Controllers still exist, but they're going to be a thing of the past pretty quickly. Maybe a thing of the past is a strong term, but most arrows are going to be able to be controlled through whatever other product you're controlling your lights with because you don't need a separate sequencing module for halogen, quote, dumb light heads. Regardless, Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.